Hey everybody, Mr. MathBlog here. This lesson is we're connecting fractions to division. So don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. And this is lesson 8.3 in our textbook. Here's our common course strand for our teachers and our question, how does a fraction represent division? So we have a few examples here. So a fraction can be written as a division problem. For example, 3 fourths is the same as 3 divided by 4. 12 halves is the same as 12 divided by 2. Any fraction can be written as a division problem. So the higher you get in math, uh, the more uh, you write them as fractions. You take a division problem and write them as fractions. Anyway, here's a problem here. So uh, there are three friends working together in a math class. The three of them are going to share two sheets of paper equally to work on math. What part of the paper will each student get? Okay, so what we're going to do is use a drawing and we're going to end up dividing the two sheets among the three people right here. So here let's draw uh, lines to divide each piece of the papers into uh, three equal pieces. So I'm going to draw vertical lines coming down right here. Let me slide this up though, okay? And then we'll go ahead and draw the vertical lines coming down right here. And then each student share of, of one sheet of paper is, well, let's just uh, take this person. This person can to take that little piece right there. And this, so we're just see, uh, sharing one piece of paper. So each student's share of this one piece of paper right here, they each get one third. This one gets a third. This one gets one third. This one gets one third also right there. Okay, so each student gets one third of a piece of paper. So uh, count the number of thirds each student gets. Well, since there are two sheets of paper, then this one third is going to be the exact same as this one third. So each student is going to get two pieces of the one-thirds right there. So they're going to get uh, one-third size pieces, two of the one-third size pieces, which is the same as two times one-third, okay? So because uh, this person gets uh, two of them, this person gets two of them, this person gets two of them, and these are one-third size pieces right there. Okay, so complete the number sentence. Uh, two divided by three is the same as um, uh, well, it's the same as this, 2 times 1 third, and that's going to give us 2 thirds right there. Because this is 2 over 1. 2 over 1 times 1 over 3 is 2 over 3 right there, okay? All right, so <clears throat> let's check our answer right here. So since blank times blank equals blank, well, this is the quotient right here. This is the divisor, and this is the dividend, and they give you a hint. And if you're like most students, you forget which ones are which, well... Here they are right here, you guys. The quotient is always the answer in a division problem. And the, and the number that you're dividing by, that's the divisor. That's how I remember. And then the last one is the dividend right here. Okay, so this 2 is going to go right here. This divisor is going to go right here. And then this 2 thirds is going to go right here. And so 2 thirds times uh, 3 is going to equal 2. And I did that over here. Let me move this up out of the way right here. So 2 thirds times 3 over 1. Remember the 3's cancel, so we're left with 2 times, this is a 1 right here, over, over 1 times 1 is 2 right there. Okay? So each student will get uh, 2 thirds of a sheet of paper. They get a third on each piece right there. Okay, so describe a division problem where each student gets 3 fourths of a sheet of a paper. Well, in the last problem, you guys, we had three students share two papers. That gave us two divided by three, which was two thirds. So we could have um, uh, four students sharing three papers, and that would give us three divided by four, which is three fourths right there. Okay, all right, let's try another one here. So four friends share ice cream bars equally. Yummy. How many ice cream bars does each friend get? Well, this one's going to be, since we're sharing um, uh, four friends or sharing six ice cream bars, they're going to divide up those six ice cream bars equally right there. So this will be our ice cream bars, each one of these rectangles right here. And we'll draw lines to divide each of the six bars into fourths because we're dividing by four. Okay, so let's draw lines and divide them each into fourths right there. Okay, and I'm going to color code them right there. Okay, so we'll just pretend like these different colors are the different people right here. So each person gets one-fourth of one bar right there, okay? And since there's six bars, you guys, we're going to count the number of fourths each friend gets. And since there are six bars, each friend, each friend will get um, six of the one-fourth because I'll just duplicate this picture all the way through right there. And then so, so um, here are six of these light blue ones right here. Here's six of these, I don't know what color, I think that's called salmon right there. Here's six of the green and then six of the red. So each uh, friend is going to get six uh, 
of the force, and six of the force, remember six of means multiply, so six times uh, uh, one fourth is uh, six fourths, so, so that's where they get six fourths, okay? And so I just added this right there, I slid it up. So complete the number sentence and write, uh, write the answer as a mixed number in simplest form. So six divided by four is six over four right there. And uh, so we're gonna uh, write that as a mixed number. So six over four is the same as four over four plus two over four and four over four is this one. Two over four is this one half right here because two over four is half a, two is half a four. Okay, so it's just one and a half right there. So um, uh, let's check our answer. Since uh, six fourths times four equals six, and I did that over here, the fours cancel. Here's four over one. Uh, the quotient is correct. Okay, let's answer the question. So each friend is going to get one and a half ice cream bars. Yummy. Okay, so describe a different way the ice cream bars could have been divided into four equal groups. Okay, well, we only needed to cut um, uh, two of the bars in half. That way, uh, four of the people can each have one whole bar, and then these two, they can cut, they can have the plus one of these halves right here, because this is four of them right here. So, so you didn't need to cut them all up like that. All right, here's another one. Mr. Bullock is, has a piece of rope that is 125 feet long. He is using this rope for a project in this math class. He'll divide up the rope into eight equal pieces. How many feet will each piece be? All right, so this, uh, this can be represented as a division equation or a fraction. So, so it's 125 divided by eight right there. So that is a, equals a fraction, 125 eighths. Okay, so now we'll write 125 eighths as a mixed number. Okay, well, you can do uh, long division. I, I like to do this, you guys. Break the fraction into partial fractions right here. So 125 eighths is 80 eighths plus 40 eighths plus 5 eighths. And 80 eighths is 10. This is 5, so 10 plus 5 plus 5 eighths is going to give us 15 eighths right there. Okay, so each piece of rope will be uh, 15 and 5 eighths um, uh, feet long. Okay, you guys, take care.